Hey, what's up guys? Josh Rossi with another Photoshop dad tutorial. So today what we're going to be doing is dodging and burning. Now there's a few different ways to dodge and burn. And in the first place, if you're like, what the heck is dodging and burning? I'm going to explain all that in just a second. Um, but dodging and burning is sort of that... It's that thing that makes images pop. When I was first starting off, I would look at these fashion type images and I never knew what what it was that made them look so good. They were popping, they just looked like the highlights were just awesome, the shadows were awesome, there was so much contouring on the face. That is dodging and burning. So let's go ahead and get into Photoshop and we'll get to this. Okay, so this is the image that we are using right here. I've, I've already brought it into RAW and I just I brought down highlights just slightly exposure I increased it a little bit whites increased blacks increased by barely I'm just gonna open image now before we get to this let me explain what dodging and burning is exactly it's basically a way to brighten and darken the image and it is used like I mentioned a second ago ago to contour um, an image so if you look at this it's kind of flat in specific areas let me pick my red brush here and let me show you kind of where it's it's flat so, or what's making it look flat. So there's not much contouring going on over here. It's pretty flat as far as the, um, the shadows go. Same here with the nose. Um, you, it needs maybe a little bit on the lips and then underneath to, to make it pop a little bit more. Also the eyes, you could add some dark here and some brights right here to make it pop. Um, there's also maybe some contouring that can be done over here. So as you can see, this is, you know, it's a really great image, but it's a little bit flat. So dodging and burning is going to fix that. So the way that we start is just double click to make this a layer. And there's a few different ways and techniques to do dodging and burning and to set this up. I want to show you the best way and it's super simple. Um, so go down here to an adjustment layer, go to curves. We're basically going to copy down this curves layer by holding down command or alt. And then this is going to be called my dodge layer. This is going to be called my burn layer. Now when I say option or alt, option if you're on a Mac, alt if you're on a PC. So dodging and burning, you separate this out. This is the lights and the darks. Um, burning means that you're darkening the image is just like you're burning toast. So it's easy to understand that way. So what you do is you click over here and you're gonna you're gonna burn the image, but basically bring down this midpoint right down here. Now you could mess around with bringing it, you know, up here or down here, but I usually just bring the midpoint right down like that, okay? And then you're gonna click over here on the mask and hit Command I. That's gonna invert it, basically meaning that it's not affecting anything unless you paint white on this um, mask. Okay, so same thing. Go up to Dodge. You're gonna bring this up right about there you don't want to be too crazy right you just still want to keep the detail and then hit command i to invert that again so basically these layers aren't doing anything right now so now what you want to do is reveal what's on those layers by painting with your brush so click b on the keyboard or go to the brush right here you're going to paint with a white color now an easy way to get back to oh, why is this gray Dang it. image mode RGB I don't know why this is great oh it's because you can't paint a color on a mask okay there so if you have a different color you can just hit D on the keyboard to take you to your black and white and then hit X to sort of switch those back and forth so we're going to be painting on our mask right here using a white color now with the brush I'm gonna bring my opacity down to about 20% now some people, this is another variation of dodging and burning, some people like using flow. The difference between using opacity and flow is the opacity um, requires me to lift my uh, pen, you know I'm using the Wacom tablet, to lift my pen off of the tablet to be able to continue painting. So right here I have not lifted my pen off the tablet and it's not making this spot lighter. So if I do 100% opacity and bring my flow down, watch what happens when I continue painting without bringing my pen off the tablet. See, it just keeps making it lighter and lighter and lighter. So for me, the more control happens within opacity because I can actually lift my pen off um, and I don't accidentally make another brush stroke. So it's, it's really just up to you, but that's what I do. Okay. 
So what we're going to do now is contour the face. Now I mentioned a second ago there's different ways of doing this. Um, this is the best way because you are separating out the lights from the darks and you have control over the, you know, like how bright and how dark it is. That's just the best way to do it. I know some people that do like a blank layer and they'll make it turn into a soft light blending mode and paint, but this is the best way. Okay, so we're going to start with, let's see, usually I start off with burn just to sort of contour the face. So I'm go to my brush, and make it a little bit bigger. I'm doing that by hitting the bracket keys on the keyboard. It's right next to the letter P. And we're going to do something called global dodging and burning. This is sort of the overall dodging and burning on the face right here. There's global and then there's a micro dodging and burning, which is a lot closer into like the pores. That's, that's done a lot if you're doing like... Um, really high end retouching. We're not going to focus on that right now. Okay. So let me show you how I'm going to dodge and burn this image. So basically, like I said in the beginning, the face is lacking a little bit of contour. So I'm just going to add some dark right there. Make a brush bigger. Now I'll go back and sort of adjust this in just a little bit. So it's already too dark over here. So what you want to do is just hit X on the keyboard. And this comes in handy really well. Instead of erasing you're basically just painting back in this spot right there so I'm painting in some black to erase what I just did okay all right so let's hit X again and go back to our whites white brush and let's paint in some of the eyeshadow let's darken that up a little bit and let's darken up that side of the nose let's also add in some darkness to the eyebrows right there <clears throat> and then let's add in some dark eyeshadow. Okay. So I'm going to go over this pretty quick because you, you get the idea on how to dodge and burn. I just want to show you exactly how I would do it here. So usually I'll add just a little bit right there. I'll add some right there. And this is, this is contouring the lips. It's making them look bigger. So as you do contour, you're contouring right there. You go under, check this out before and after it makes the lips pop a lot more. Okay. And then I'm not going to do too much and I can already see that it's a little bit too heavy on this side. So I'm going to hit X and go back and, and just erase slightly right there. Okay. All right. Now let's go to the brights. Let's go. Uh, let's dodge. And once again, hit X on the keyboard to go back to your white brush. And I'll usually go right around the eyes to just brighten those up and I'll go around the whites of the eyes. Now I'm doing this super quick. I'd usually spend a lot more time on this. But this just gives you the idea of sort of what I'm doing here. Okay, and then right there you see some brightness. Maybe possibly right there. That might not work. Sometimes I'll do different types of dodge and burn on different images based on the lighting. So make this really small. This is almost to the, the micro level right here. So it's not completely micro where you're going into the pores, but this is kind of cool okay so then let's let's add let's go right here add that make those lips pop that might be a little bit too much on the bottom lip see so there, there's a couple things you could do one if you're trying to go quick you just do a big like brush stroke like that or if you want to be more detailed which looks a lot nicer it always looks nicer when you're detailed you go in like this. So that's really the difference between something that looks like maybe more painted versus something that looks highly retouched is the details. If you want something to look more painted, um, sometimes I'll, I'll do maybe a bigger brush stroke as opposed to these tiny little strokes like that. Okay, so now right around here, I actually want to turn my opacity down to 10%. Let's see how this looks with that a little bit of it's kind of like shine right here. Maybe right around there. Okay, so it it is backing off now. It's a little bit too much. So that's sort of what I'll do initially. You can see here what I've done before and after. Look how much more that pops, but it's kind of looking fake. So you want to go back in and start um, taking away some of the shadows a little bit because that's it's kind of looking a little bit fake 
right there. Okay. Actually, maybe I can just, this is the beauty of doing it with curves is you can just bring that down like that. Bring that up to reduce. You know, something like that doesn't, doesn't actually look too bad. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to paint out I'm going to go with my black brush and paint at 20% opacity and just paint out some areas that I think look a little bit too dark. Might have created too much over here. Maybe around the eyes is a little bit too much. Just over overall there. Okay, so that that's like a good a good very simple dodge and burn. Um, you could go way more intense on this, but you get the idea. This goes now from you know kind of like a flat image to something that pops a little bit more. The focus is right on her face right there. Um, it just looks really nice. So now once you've dodged and burned the face, it's it's going to look good, but it's going to look a lot better once you have your final coloring on there. Because sometimes it might look a little bit too intense. Um, but, you know, I would say wait until the end, until you're done coloring this shot. So I'm really not going to do too much color in here, but I, I do want to show you um, a few things that I would do. So first I might add more contrast. So I'd add a curves layer and I just bring it down like this, maybe up a little bit like that. And then I would add like a hue saturation layer, bring this down slightly. Then I'd go and add some color to the top of this. So maybe let's add some like blues and cyans. Let's go to the highlights. Let's add a little bit of yellows into this. Maybe a little bit of reds back in. And then over the top of everything, I would add, let's say like a, a levels adjustment. Let's add some blue levels. So this isn't really a coloring tutorial, but this is just to show you how things would change um, how to change your dodging and burning once you have your colors on there. So that that's looking pretty good. But then maybe I want to add a little bit. Let's add a curves layer above everything. Just something like that. And when you add curves, you're actually brightening. You can, it, it kind of has, I don't want to say similar effect to dodging and burning, but you are like, you do have uh, control over, you know, the highlights up here and the shadows over here. So you're kind of adding some brights and some darks. So now I'm gonna go back into my dodge and burn layer and let's actually erase a few things. It feels like a little bit too bright right over here. Maybe right around the lips is too bright. So check this out before and after. And then it might be a little bit too bright on the, on these areas right over here. Okay. So there you go. Now I would probably spend a lot more time on this. I mean, what, this was like eight minutes of me dodging and burning. Normally a shot like this, I spend maybe 20 plus minutes, the 20, 30 minutes dodging and burning, but you can see the before, the before and the after shot, just like that. Check that out. So you can see this is popping a lot more. Um, you can see like specifically on the contour, it's bringing focus to her face. Now, if you want to add more, very simple, you just bring this down like that and then you add more brights just like that and now your dodging and burning gets a lot more intense and it's kind of looking interesting so there you go you can mess around with this um and the last thing and i i consider this part of the dodging and burning process is to create a vignette over the top and the reason i consider that part of it is because this just brings the focus it adds depth it brings the focus to the uh, to certain parts of the image. So we're just going to create a blank layer right here. Just call this vignette and then go to a soft light blending mode. This is basically another way of dodging and burning. This is just an easy way of doing it for me. Um, make sure you're painting with your black brush at about 20% or I'll do 30% opacity and just go around the image just like this. Now I love doing this manually as opposed to using a filter to add a vignette just because this gives you a lot more control over what parts are darkened and what parts aren't. That's why I sort of consider it part of the dodging and burning process. So there you guys go. That is how you do a sort of global dodging and burning. Um, like I mentioned a second ago, this can get a lot more advanced. There's like the micro dodging and burning where you go in and you're like editing every single little pore. I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, but this is 
one of those things that if you add it onto your images, it's going to, it's going to bring out that extra sort of pop, that extra dimension to your shots. So thank you guys for watching. Now, if you want the follow along files, if you want to mess around with this, I'll just include the link in the description. So click on that. You'll get the files. You can follow along. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video.